Hi guys, so welcome to Art with Mrs. Cap. I'm going to walk you through navigating the Canvas course this year in the Canvas classroom. So um, if you weren't able to join us for orientation or, you know, you um, got added to the class later or for whatever reason, you want to know a little bit more about navigating the class. Or maybe you were in orientation and you're still like, I am lost, Mrs. Cap. This is a session for you. So I'm going to walk you through the basics of navigating my classroom on Canvas. However, these things should not be different from any of your other classes. So if you can navigate math, you should be able to navigate Mrs. Cap's class because generally speaking, our classes are set up the same way because we use the same templates to set up our courses. So there may be some things that are tweaked a little bit, but it should not be like a foreign, you know, unseen thing that you haven't seen before. So if you can navigate math, if you can navigate ELA, if you can navigate social studies, you should be able to navigate art with Mrs. Cap. So let's go ahead and look at this and let's get started. So um, all the grade levels are the same as far as the layout. So while I am in, um, I believe this is eighth grade for this demo, even though I'm in eighth grade, it's the same for sixth grade, seventh grade. It doesn't matter what grade you're in. This navigation is universal across all three grade levels that I teach, okay? So if we're looking at the home page, so when you sign on to Canvas and you click on my classroom, all right, so when you log on to your Canvas class, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this home page, okay? So if I scroll down the home page, everything I need to be successful in this class is right here at my fingertips. If I need to figure out what's, you know, I need to ask Ms. Cap a question, click here. Now, uh, just a reminder, I teach three grade levels. I'm teaching all day long. So if you message me, I may not get back to you right away. Don't take it personally. I just have a full schedule. So if I have a lot of messages come in, I may not get back to you by the end of the day, but I'll get back to you the next work day, okay? So if it's a Friday, it might be Monday before I am able to get back to you, but I will get back to you, all right? So just keep those things in mind and be mindful of those things. But I um, can be reached through Canvas message here and I can be reached by email here and remind app. So if you are in grades other than eighth grade, your remind app code is different. So just remember that. Um, right here, we have some buttons. And I apologize for the formatting. This is happening in all of the other Encore classes. And for some reason, our buttons are reformatting, even though we have formatted them um, many times. <laughs> They are just wanting to not cooperate. And so they're all these different sizes. So I apologize, but you have all these buttons right here. If you wanna know why you have a grade that you have, or you're a parent and you wanna know why your kid has the grade they have, instead of you know having to email me and ask me and then wait for a response, you can go right here and you can find out why they got what they got. There's a um, rubric for most assignments and you can see exactly why. If you need additional information beyond that, then definitely reach out. But instead of having to wait for me to get back to you um, on their grade, you can go right here and it'll give you the most updated information. Live teaching times. Okay, so any of these buttons will take you to anywhere you need to go, okay? Meet the teacher, you can click on here. And it's a little, you know, a bit of information about me. There's a little video there you can watch to learn a little bit more about Ms. Kappel, any of that kind of stuff, it's right there. But let's go back to the homepage. And first things first with live sessions, all the information you need is right here on the homepage. So if you just got added to the course or you're, you know, um, 
not sure where you're supposed to go for your group and all of these questions you might have, you can click right here to find out what your group is. It will take you to a roster that shows you, I'm not gonna click on it because I don't wanna you know, share um, names and so forth on this video, but you can click here and it's gonna have two groups on that page, group A and group B. And you just find your name, figure out which group you're in. Then when it's time for us to meet, and of course these times are different depending on what grade level you're in, but when it's time for us to meet, let's say it's a Monday, and you're in group A. So you meet on Mondays. You would click right here, this little button that's purple. You're gonna click that and it'll take you straight into the meeting right when it's time for the meeting to start. So um, all of these are linked to the Teams meeting. So you can just click on that and it's gonna take you straight into the meeting, all right? Um, the same with Winning Wednesdays, we'll have a little bit more guidance on that moving forward. But when we start doing Winning Wednesdays, the same with that, that button will take you straight into that session, okay? Um, as far as how do you access work? How do you turn work in? How do you find out what you have to do for the course? You go right here where it says assignments this week and you click on that and it takes you to the current week. So the current week for us is orientation week, okay? So it takes you to the current week. There you'll have a little TikTok video of the week, which is just a quick little summary video from me telling you about the week and what we have. You'll have an art lesson each week. So for the first week, we actually do something that's not really fun, but we talk about plagiarism. And so you have a little lesson there on plagiarism. You have some information here that you can tour. Um, I wanted you guys to tour home and all that good stuff. Um, meet the teacher, the about you assignment and so forth. So each week you'll have a new agenda, but it'll be that same place. You just click where it says this week assignments for this week and you click and it takes you here and then from here you've got everything you need so you've got your lesson here if we do a demo that week you would have a demo right here if you've got a sketchbook assignment which you will have every week from you know this point forward you don't have it this week but you will have it starting um, the second week which is the first full week of content you will have a sketchbook every single week Okay, so um, I believe you have a total of 18 sketchbook assignments that you'll have at the end of the semester. So each week you'll have a sketchbook that'll go right here. Okay, then you would have a project. You won't always have a project. And technically this isn't a project. This was just an activity that we are doing on Thursday and Friday of orientation week. Um, but I put it in the project section just to get you used to that layout, okay? So if we had a project, you would actually have a demo video here that went along with this, all right? And then any additional assignments you may have would be right here, okay? So for orientation week, you have the About You discussion forum where you're gonna go watch the Meet the Teacher video. You're gonna go watch the video where Miss Campbell tells you all about herself and then asks you some questions because I want to learn about you. So I, I started it off and I introduced myself in that video and then you're going to listen for those questions and then in the about you section you're going to tell me some things about you based on those questions that I asked at the end of the video. And then the syllabus e-signature, um, I get a few questions about this. The syllabus is right here. So there's a tab right there that you can click and it takes you to the syllabus, read that first, and then you can come back and complete this. So you would click that and it would take you to that assignment. And then fair use and plagiarism, that, that's a little discussion that goes along with this first week's video. But this is how every week will work as far as an agenda. Any additional resources will be here. When you are signed into um, Microsoft, the videos from previous weeks will populate in here as they are released. 
Um, so any of that kind of stuff can be viewed there as well. And I'll put any additional resources you might need down there. Um, but this week's pretty basic. You're basically just, you know, doing these little assignments um, for, you know, getting kind of used to how things work in this class. Um, don't be stressed out. You know, this is a chill week. This is just like getting to know you type things. I mean, this is like very, very easy stuff. Um, and this is just that fun activity that we're doing on Thursday and Friday. So those are just your basics with navigating. Of course, you've got your syllabus that you can look at and you can get that kind of information there. You can go look at the supply list that you need. You have to have these supplies to be successful in this course. Um, you know, a month from now, please don't be sending me a message saying you don't have the supplies to do the project because I gave these things out at the beginning of the school year. I gave them out at open house and I'm giving them out here as well. So um, you do need to be prepared just like you would be for math, for science, for ELA. This is a class, it counts as a grade and you will need to be prepared with the proper materials. Now there are some materials that are available at the school office. Um, if you needed more information about that, you can reach out to me, but it is not everything that you need. It's just a few things to get you started, but it really is not um, every single supply you would ever need for our class, okay? Um, so back to homepage. <clears throat> if you get behind a week, you can go here. That'll take you to previous um, agendas from past weeks, live session recordings. That'll take you to, you know, recordings from our classes and so forth. Of course, these are all locked currently, but these will take you to the modules that we're in. So you can view everything that you need to um, as far as assignments. You can just go and look at them in there. However, you would be missing some important, you know, key components. Um, down at the bottom, we have these buttons here. I'm gonna be adding another button here that will be for locked, um, for assignment lock dates. And that will be added um, by the start of the first full week of content. So that'll be added by the end of the orientation week. You'll have a button here for um, information on when those lock dates are for assignments so that you can keep up with when things are gonna lock and um, you don't wanna get stuck, you know, not having stuff turned in. Um, watch me, that'll just take you to the YouTube channel where I post videos like the one you're watching right now. Um, that helps you with navigating or that maybe is a demo for an art project. If you subscribe, you'll actually get those videos before anyone else does. So as soon as like the video is loaded, you will get a notification about it. Art with Mrs. Cat, that's a podcast that I do for you guys. And it's middle school art history based. So that's out there as well. Spotify, I have some playlists out there for drawing music. Um, good, you know, playlists that are like instrumental and they're good for creativity and kind of fueling that creative flow. Okay. Um, artist library, if you go there, it's an interactive library that you can actually um, click on and there's books about different artists that are read aloud on a, like YouTube videos and stuff. So that's kind of fun if you want to like learn more about an artist or something. And then the rest of these are kind of self-explanatory. All right, so that's kind of a crash course in how you navigate Canvas for my um, class this year. And um, it really is self-explanatory. So, you know, if you need some additional support, please reach out, um, you know, but just know like this shouldn't be anything different than what you're seeing in your other classes. So hopefully that is the case, but um, this was the layout that we were given. And so that's what we're using this year. And um, it should be, you know, it's basically what's being used in all of the classes. So hopefully this is helpful and it helps you, you know, 
with figuring out how to access stuff that you need to access for class. Um, but if you have additional questions beyond this video, then you can definitely reach out to me and we might have to arrange a special, you know, time during like uh, office hours or something like that to meet. Um, as always, you know, reach out to me on Canvas. I'll respond as soon as I can. Be mindful that I do teach a lot of students. And so I may not get back to you um, as quickly as you would like me to, but I will get back to you in the amount of time I'm supposed to get back to you in, um, you know, but just be mindful. There is a lot on teacher's plates this time of the year, and we are trying our best to answer everyone in a timely fashion. So um, thank you for joining me today. I hope this video helps you out and hopefully, you know, we'll have a successful year this year.